Hello, I'm Jeff with Daily Security, and today we're going to show you how to install an IP camera system. Now, a lot of people are intimidated by the thought of installing this and hooking this all together, but today I'm going to walk you through it. First off, let's start with the components. First, you have your IP camera. Next, you have your router, which if you already have internet, I'm sure you already have one. Next, we have the PoE switch, the NVR, the network cables, we have a computer, and lastly, our television monitor. Now, let's get started. Now let's focus on the NVR. Now if you have an NVR that doesn't already have a hard drive installed, now would be the time to do that. We're going to go ahead and skip that part, but if you need help doing that, we have some guides that will help you do that. So let's go ahead and skip that. The first thing you need to do is provide power to the NVR. Right here we have our power supply cable. We're going to go ahead and attach it. Then we're going to turn on the power. The next thing we want to do is connect the NVR to the television. And there's two ways you can do that with an IP system. You can use the HDMI cable or the VGA cable. For this, we're going to use the HDMI cable. Now that the NVR is powered on and we can see it displayed on the television, now we need to introduce the PoE switch and the router. Now we highly recommend that you use a PoE switch because not only does it send network data, but it also will power your IP cameras. So let's go ahead and hook them all together. First, let's go ahead and power it up. You have your power supply cable. Very simple, just plug it in. All right, now we have power to it. Let's use our network cable and connect it to the NVR to the switch. And you can use any one of these open ports. Okay, now we need to connect a switch to the router using another network cable. And then we'll find an open port on the back of the router. Now all three are hooked up to the network. Now that the NVR, the PoE switch, and the router are all connected, the next thing we need to do is configure the NVR to the network. And to do that, we're going to go to our menu using the mouse that came with the NVR. We're going to right click, we're going to go to main menu, and your default password is going to be 68 888 Enter. Hit OK. Now we can get in. We're going to go to settings, network, and then what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this DHCP. And as you can see, everything went to zeros. And that's what we want. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now we'll wait a few seconds because what we're doing, we're asking the router to get the NVR and IP address. So let's go ahead and go back in the network. Now as you can see, everything is filled out. And this number is the IP address to your NVR. And it's, you need to write that down. And if there's not numbers filled in here, what you need to do is power off your NVR, then power it back on, go through your network settings, and this should reset and give you a new number. So let's go ahead and uncheck this because we don't want this to change and get a new number, and we'll hit save. Now let's bring the camera into the picture. Looking at the camera, you have two connectors. We have the power connector and the network connector. Now since we're using the PoE switch, all we'll have to use is the network connection. Simply get a network cable, plug it into your switch, and then plug the WAN cable into the camera. Now that the IP camera is connected to the system, the next thing we need to do is introduce the computer. And to do that, you have to make sure that the computer is hooked up to the same router that the NVR and the camera is hooked to. And once you do that, you have to configure the camera to the network, just like we did the NVR to the network. And to do that, we use a config tool that comes with the camera on this USB stick. Every camera you buy here is going to have this config tool included. If you don't have it, don't worry because it's going to be on our website. You can simply just download it that way. Just simply insert it into the computer. And now that we've inserted the USB stick, let's just simply open it up. Go to our computer. It's located right there. 
we're going to open up this file now we're going to see a bunch of other stuff listed underneath that file and what you want to do is just find the one that just says just the config tool now let's go ahead and open up that file now once again we see some more stuff listed here and what we're looking for is it's just going to say config tool or it might say config tool.exe so let's go ahead and open the one that says just config tool now that the config tool is open you can now see we have the device list and this is a list of all the items that are connected to our network and what we want to do is we want to find the IP camera and to do that let's just match up this MAC address and if you look on the back of our camera you go right here and you'll find the MAC address and let's just look at the last four numbers and digits and it's 34BF so let's go over back to our computer and match that up 34BF okay now we have three different columns right here let's go ahead and open up the one that has the SunNet mask so let's just double click it now we will just log in and now we have an IP address of our camera now let's go ahead and uncheck this that way our IP address will be static now hit save and OK now that we configured the IP camera to the network you want to go ahead and write down the IP address ok now let's add the IP camera to the NVR let's go ahead and grab our mouse and we're going to right click we're going to go down here to main menu 888888 ok we're going to go into this remote device ok we're going to look for IP camera we're going to do an IP search as you can see there's our IP camera with our IP address now we want to double click on the one that says private so let's double click there we got it and then we just want to OK it and as you can see our IP camera is on the NVR now that we added the IP camera to the NVR there's one last thing that we have to do and Sean's going to explain how to do that so now what we have to do is set our IP camera and our NVR to the same time and this is the last step um, the easiest way to do this is to access the NVRs and IP cameras web page. So what we got to do is do this through Internet Explorer and you have to make sure you're running Internet Explorer as an administrator and I'll show you how to do this. Um, now this is the way to do it for Windows 7 and below. So what you got to do is click on this little start button down here and start typing Internet Explorer. And what you're going to have, you'll have a couple selections up here. Sometimes you might see one that says Internet Explorer 64-bit. Um, you want to ignore all the ones. The only one you're interested in right now is the one that says Internet Explorer. And what you got to do is right-click on it. And then you want to click Run as Administrator. And that's how you do it with Windows 7 and below. Now I'm going to show you how to run as administrator for Internet Explorer on Windows 8. Okay, so this is what Windows 8 looks like, and we're going to show you how to run Internet Explorer as administrator in Windows 8. So what you got to do is go down here to your desktop, and then you're going to see this Internet Explorer icon right here. You're going to right click and then you're going to right click on this Internet Explorer again and then select run as administrator now that we have Internet Explorer open we now need to configure the ActiveX settings within Internet Explorer and in order to do that you need to go up here to tools then click Internet Options and then click security and then click custom level you're going to scroll down here to when you start seeing your ActiveX controls and there's three ActiveX controls you need to focus on right now the first one is download signed ActiveX controls you need to mark that as prompt 
Next one is download unsigned ActiveX controls. Mark that as prompt. The last one is initialize and script ActiveX controls not marked as safe for scripting. Mark that as prompt. Click OK and then click apply and then click OK. Now I'm first going to access the NVR's web interface and when Jeff was getting this set up he had an IP address assigned of 192.168.1.102 and I'm going to type that in here. Now your IP address is probably going to be different than this but once you type this in go ahead and click enter and what you're going to be brought here with is um, you're going to be asked to install ActiveX controls. You need to say yes or install to any ActiveX prompt. Now once all of your ActiveX's get installed correctly you're going to be brought up with your login screen. Now unless you've specifically changed your username and password to something else, you're going to want to go ahead and use the default admin username and password. And that is simply admin all in lowercase letters and the password is going to be the same exact thing. And I'm going to click login. And this is our NVR's web interface. Um, now there's a lot of things you can do here, but right now all I'm, all I'm concerned about is getting the time set up properly. So in order to do that, go up here and click config. And then under system config, you're going to click on general. And this is where you can set up your time. Um, now the easiest way to do this is to simply sync this with your PC and that's because your PC usually always stays updated with the correct time. Um, so what you do here, see what you can see here is my PC set up for 445, this is set up for 1245. So all you do is click sync PC and as you can see it changed it to my PC time. And there's a couple other things you want, might want to take note of. Um, this date format here, I like to change to month, day, year. This is just a personal preference. And then the time format, I like to make sure that's set to 12 hour. Now there's, you want to click save twice. The first place you want to click save on is right here. And then the second place you want to click save down here. Okay, so now our NVR's time is set up correctly. Now we want to take this one step further and ensure our time stays updated all the time on our NVR. And in order to do this, we have to get it set up for an outside time server. In order to do that, you go up here to network and click this plus sign. And then you're going to click on NTP. And what you want to do is click enable. And this is the time server it's going to connect to and uh, you might want to go ahead and write this down because we're going to use this same address on our IP cameras in the next step and it's time.windows.com the port you're just going to leave is 123 and the update period I like to change it to 30 minutes and as you can see it's already changed in here um, now the GMT time is going to be different depending on where you live um, if you're not sure what your GMT time is just go ahead and google it I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab here. And I'm just going to say Oklahoma GMT time. And as you can see right here, the first result, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And here in Oklahoma, it's GMT minus six. So I'm going to do, go here and put that in. And once I do that, I'm going to click Save. So what this is going to do, it's going to update my time every 30 minutes to ensure that my time stays updated correctly all the time. It's going to contact an outside time server in order to stay updated all the time. Alright, now that we have the NVR's time set up properly, we need to do the same exact thing on our IP camera. And the IP address of our IP camera in our example was 
192.168.1.101. Now, like I said before, your IP address is probably going to be different. And, um, you know, as soon as I click enter, I'm brought with a login screen, but I'm also brought with an ActiveX prompt. Go ahead and click allow. And go ahead and click install. Now that the initial act of X is installed, we want to go ahead and log in. And again, the default username and password is admin and all lowercase letters. And the password again is the same. Go ahead and click log in. Um, now, you may be brought with an act of X prompt here. Um, if you are, go ahead and click yes or log in or install. Um, the thing to note about these IP cameras, they do have a lot of ActiveXs that you need to install. Um, but keep in mind, as soon as you get them all installed, you'll never have to install them again. See, it's asking me to install another ActiveX. And every time you do, it logs you out and you have to log back in, which it's kind of cumbersome at first, but again, like I said, once you do it, you'll never have to do it again. And what we need to do is go set up the time on the IP camera, just like we did on the NVR. And as you can see what I did, I clicked the setup button up here. And now I'm going to go to where it says system. And I'm going to go to general. And I'm going to go and click on date and time right here. And again, I like to change it to month, day, year, and time format, 12 hour. And um, the GMT time zone, in our example, it's GMT minus 6, um, but it's probably going to be different for you depending on which state you live in. Um, and here I'm going to click on Sync PC. And what I want to do here is synchronize with NTP. And I'm going to set it up for the same time server as what I did on the NVR. And if you remember, it was time.windows.com. And the port was 123. And the update period, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 30 minutes. And once I do that, I'm going to click Save. This says Save Succeeded. Now you have your NVR and your IP camera set up on the same exact time. And this is going to make searching a lot easier. Um, because if your IP camera and your NVR is not set up on the same time, the searching functions may not work properly. Well, that wraps it up. Remember, if you have any questions or problems with your IP camera system, always feel free to give us a call. Once again, this is Jeff Walker with Nelly Security, and thanks for watching.